Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, November 21st, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across, purges of, and when you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue like this, that means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer. So I think this is going to be rids of. Let's see if we can build through rids here. Races as an engine, that's going to be revs. My turn. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. My turn, what would be a good equivalent here? Hmm, is it I'm it? Are we talking about tag maybe? Let's see if we can confirm that. Zoned out. Hmm, I don't know about this. Yeah, I'm not sure about I'm it. Give off as light. Well, that should be emit. Hmm, now I'm confused. Goddess like pop or opera star. That's gonna be a diva. It means plaster in Italian. Hmm. This has got to be a word we've heard of before. Plaster. I don't know what this is going to be. Let's take a look at this across here. This might be a theme answer. It does look like it's pointing to a revealer down here. South African horn that produces only one note. Hmm. It sounds like that should be a Vuvuzela, right? Those were all the rage at the World Cup a number of years ago. Vuvuzela, yeah, so maybe instead of I'm it, maybe it's I'm up. That makes a lot more sense. And then this could be spaced out. Yeah, that looks really good. Maybe this is stucco. That does make sense, because stucco is kind of like a plaster type material. Musical symbol resembling an ampersand. I think that's going to be a clef. Yeah, that kind of looks like an ampersand. Alternative to Venmo. Uh, I think there's something called Zell. Yeah. Particulars slangily. Is this going to be the Deets? That is a really nice colloquial piece of fill. I love that. Tilling tool. I think that's going to be a hoe with which you can till your field. Teensy bit. That could be a tad. So we have AOL here. NYC-based pioneer in instant messaging. Yeah, that was very popular when I was in high school. Like many sign language users, that's going to be deaf. Having a thermal exhaust port leads straight to the reactor of your Death Star, e.g. <laughs> I guess that would be a huge flaw in the design of your Death Star, yeah. Author Harper Blank, that's Harper Lee. Victory of all victories. Hmm. Is this going to be endgame? I'm not 100% sure about that. Penny pincher. Hmm. Okay, so this is going to be kind of like a Scrooge? Or a cheapskate? I'm not sure what's going to fit here. Go crazy. Hmm. I'm not sure about endgame. Company honchos, shouldn't that be CEOs? Because we have an abbreviation in our clue, that means our answer needs to be abbreviated also. That's why it'll be the abbreviated chief executive officers. So let's take out endgame here, that must be wrong. CEOs, okay. Cheadle of the Avengers films, that's Don Cheadle. I wonder if we can get this now. Go crazy. Hmm. Yeah, I still don't know. Largest of the Greek islands. Is that Hios? I actually went to Hios when I was in Greece a couple of months ago. That's crazy. Let's see if that's right. Penny pincher. Maybe it's a cheapo. <laughs> yeah. Go crazy. Is it hog wild? You go hog wild? Superlative suffix. Okay, well, a superlative is like when something is the strongest, or the tallest, or the toughest. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Is it I-E-R? That's more of a comparative suffix. 
Hmm. Let's try and get some help here. Be quiet. Another equivalent phrase. Hmm. I wonder if it's hold it. Yeah. What is this? This is very mystifying to me. Whole. Hmm. I would want this to be entire, actually. Is it not hog wild? This isn't really the right part of speech. It sounded a little weird to me. Go crazy. Hmm. Yeah, because this is kind of just an adjective. And this has a verb in it. Yeah, I don't know if this actually fits. Interesting. Unacceptable, yet another equivalent phrase. Is it, oh, no, you don't? That doesn't quite fit, I don't think. Train service to 33 countries. That's a lot of countries. Hmm. Blank a la vodka? I think that really should be penne a la vodka. Yeah, so... Hmm. What is this going to be instead? I don't know. Let's take out hog and put in entire because I feel pretty good about that. Go crazy. Hmm. Maybe this is an epic win? A victory of all victories? Wow. This should be EST probably. Like we were saying before, tallest or strongest. So maybe this is not Heos. Maybe this is Crete. Yeah, I was forgetting about Crete. And I think this is going to help a lot. Yeah, this is going to be run wild. This has the verb that we wanted in it. Is this hush up? That would make sense. Unacceptable. This won't do. <laughs> it's kind of a proper expression. Uh, hmm. Is it going to be Euro something? I think it has to be. California's blank Fernando Valley. Oh no, that should be San Fernando, right? Maybe it's Eurail. That would make sense, though I haven't really heard of that. Latte Art Medium, that's going to be the foam. Let's see if we can get this grid spanner here. Repetitive cry of encouragement. Okay, this is looking like it's going to be ole, 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 ole. <laughs> Um, yeah, once you get the first part, it's pretty easy to fill in the rest. Hmm. Okay, so we have a Vuvuzela and a bunch of Olays. It seems like we might have a World Cup theme today, right? That would be appropriate because the World Cup is happening. Sappho's Blank to Aphrodite. This is definitely going to be Ode to Aphrodite. Sappho was an Odist. Far from strict. That could be Lax. Something to maintain during a conversation. I really think this should be eye contact. Yeah, that is a considerate thing to do. So we have day, word before or after spa. Day spa, spa day, yeah, those both work. The E of CEOs for short. Yeah, that's gonna be executive for short. Sounds from babies and pigeons. That's going to be coups. We're not talking about chief operating officers like from yesterday. Small but important machine part. That's got to be a cog. Exclamation of approval. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. G whiz. I don't know. List ending abbreviation. That could be at all. That's a Latin abbreviation that stands for and others. Grassy Plain in South America. Oh, I know I've seen this. I've seen it on Spelling Bee. I think it's Alano? Let's see if that's right. Let's try and confirm that. Air Pollution Portmanteau. Okay, well a portmanteau is when you're smashing two words together. It's not smog. That's already a portmanteau. That's smoke and fog. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Is it smash? Smoke and ash? I've never heard that before. Places to find lions, tigers, and bears. Hmm. Inquisitive to a fault. Well, that should be nosy. Requiring rare knowledge. 
Is that esoteric? Wow, that's a great bit of fill. I guess this is gonna be smaze, smoke and haze. Yeah, I've never heard of this word before. Smaze, interesting. Okay, blank regret that. You'll regret that, that's quite the threat. Is this all gonna be O's? Oh my God, is it gonna be a goal that's extended across the puzzle? Let's see if that's what it is. Really long celebratory cry. Yeah, I think we're gonna have goal. <laughs> that was a lot of fun to type in. Okay, vote in favor. I think this has to be pro. Athletic org with a 2020 reboot. Hmm, and because org is abbreviated, that means our answer should be abbreviated. I'm not sure what this is. Mythical river of the underworld. Shouldn't that be the river Styx? Wait a minute. Oh, wait, there should be an A in goal, right? <laughs> it's not just all O's. There we go, I think that fixed it. And this is gonna be yay. Rocks blank leopard. That is Def Leopard. Yeah, that's a band. So this is going to be the XFL. I guess that's a football league. Yeah, I guess I have heard of that. Accra's country. I believe Accra is the capital of Ghana. Let's see if we can confirm that. Harrison Ford's Star Wars role. Yeah, that was Han Solo. He helped blow up the Death Star because of that flaw. <laughs> Okay, Old Westerns informally. They call those odors. Yeah, that's kind of an old fashioned term for a Western. We have ATT. I guess that stands for attempts. They're looking for a football stat abbreviated. Okay, Kevin Blank, former Weekend Update anchor on SNL. That's Kevin Nealon. Requiring rare knowledge. Hey, this is a duplicate clue. Look at that. That's really fun. This is going to be arcane. Yeah, both of these kinds of knowledge are very useful on the crossword puzzle. Blanket on me. Lay it on me. Some eyesores. That's got to be styes. Exclamation of approval. Okay, it's going to be good one. It's not quite what we were thinking. QB protection squads. Okay, that's gonna be O-Lines. That's short for offensive lines. Again, it's abbreviated because we have this abbreviated quarterback in the clue. Alley blank, that's an alley oop in basketball. Salsas, EG, or salsa moves. <laughs> oh yeah, these are gonna be dips. Very different kinds of dips, that's really funny. Branded freebies at an event, that's definitely gonna be swag. And look what's forming down here. Yeah, I think we all know what this is going to be. International event where 17, 28, and 48 across can be heard. That is going to be the World Cup for sure. Very nice. This is a very appropriate theme. Unit of resistance. Okay, that's going to be Ohm. And big name in SUVs, GMC. Yeah, that's got to be right. Okay, I think this has to be Stun. Feeling anxious, that's got to be on edge. Puts in office, that's going to be elects. And what do we have here? CC? Included on an email briefly. Yeah, that'll be carbon copied, abbreviated. Diddy, that's another word for a tune. And wingtip to wingtip measurement. I guess that's a span, right? Like a wingspan on a bird? So we have... Gina Rollins of Gloria. Hey, she was just on the puzzle yesterday. That's so funny. And then this should be Eden. What was all about Eve? Yeah, this is a nice pun. This question mark means that this is a wordplay clue. So what you have to do with wordplay clues is look for a punny answer. So this is not about the movie All About Eve. This is definitely in reference to the biblical Eve and they're asking what was all about her or around her, and that would be the Garden of Eden. All right, well, let's throw this N in there and see if that'll do it for us. 
All right, a Monday puzzle in 20 minutes. That's a little bit on the slow side for a Monday puzzle, yeah. I think we actually had some trouble in this northeast corner up here. Yeah, we wanted hog wild at first instead of run wild. And that kind of threw everything off here. But yeah, this ended up being a pretty great theme. I love when themes are tied into things that are happening currently. And this is a great example of that. This is the World Cup. That's our revealer. And we have a Vuvuzela. Ole, 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 ole. And a very extended goal. Yeah, this is great. These are really fun answers. And there was a bunch of other really great long fill in addition to this. I really loved the deets. That is fantastic. We also got eye contact, which is pretty great. I loved esoteric and arcane. That was a pretty abstruse pair. And this won't do. That's a pretty fun equivalent phrase. And I'm glad they snuck a wordplay clue in right under the wire here. What was all about Eve? Eden. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed attending that World Cup match with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time.